Hi, I'm Sharon Bullman, professor at UAT, and today's script writing subject is slug lines, also called headers or master scene headers. All means the same thing, so use whichever one you're most comfortable with. First thing that we look at is the format. Format for a scene header is that it is in all caps, left justified, and it has a total of three parts. First part is whether it's interior or exterior. Next part is the name of the set. Third part is whether it's day or night. The slug line is not there for the scriptwriter to be creative in. The slug line is there for the producer and the cinematographer. The producer goes through and he looks to see how many sets or locations will actually need to be secured. Cinematographer looks to see if it's gonna be a daytime or a nighttime shoot and whether it's inside or outside. Producer also needs to know whether it's an inside or outside shot and whether it's day or night. So that information is for people who are going to turn your script into something magical. It's not for being creative. As such, it has a very specific format. Interior, exterior. It's INT, period, or EXT, period. Everyone remember, everything is all in caps. You want your set location to be the same throughout the script. So if it starts out being Felix's bedroom, then the next time you write it, it should be Felix's bedroom. If in one place it says Felix's bedroom, and in the next place it just says bedroom, that's two different locations. It's two different things that the producer has to secure. And that's not what you want. You want Felix's bedroom, so just call it the same thing throughout. Then you have another dash, and after that dash is whether it's day or night. And again, you don't want to get too fancy with, with you know, just before dawn or anything like that, unless it's vitally important to the script. If it's going to be during the day, that's a different set of information than if it's going to be at night. So day or night, if it's really important that it's dawn specifically, then you put that in your description. So that's how you format and the information that goes into a slug line. 